Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sislowati. I'm an excellent Bobby enthusiast with decades of business experience. I recently conducted a series of interviews to hire a couple of analysts with Power experience to work with our company. In this video, I want to share with you the five interview questions that I asked, which enabled me to come through those with strong understanding of Power BI versus those with minimal or mediocre understanding of Power BI. I will also share with you the rationales behind asking those questions, as well as the answers that I'm looking to get. Let's get started. Question number one, how did you get to know Power BI? I ask this question because I'm interested in hearing your story on how you got to know Power BI, how you felt when you were first learning Power BI. Did it bring you joy and excitement? There is no right or wrong answer here. Ultimately, the question is designed to assess the candidate's storytelling and communication skill, which are crucial skills to be successful in the workplace. Question two, what is your comfort level with Power BI? There is no right or wrong answer in here. I'm interested in knowing how you feel about Power BI and your recent experiences. Is this something that you enjoy? Something that you are comfortable with? If not, why? And most importantly, what are you doing about it? I ask this question to find out if the candidate is a genuine person, happy to open up and be transparent about their personal situation and challenges. Question three, how confident are you in using DAX? Now I'm starting to get serious. I want to find out if you are a Power BI user or a Power BI creator. An analyst who can create a set of report, dashboard, and analysis in Power BI from scratch is definitely preferable. Please choose your answer wisely as you will need to be able to back up your claim. If you are not yet a Power BI creator, it is best to be truthful and set the expectation right from the onset. Explain to the interviewer that you are in the process of learning Power BI and where are you up to. Don't pretend to be someone that you are not because you will be in trouble later. Question four, please explain the calculate function. This is where some people may get caught up. If you claim to be highly confident in Power BI and DAX and can't explain what is calculate function, then you are in trouble because the calculate function is the must know formula in Power BI. If you are just starting on your Power BI journey and not yet 100% confident with writing DAX, such that your approach is primarily Googling and then copying and pasting the DAX rather than writing your own formula from scratch, then this is the one DAX function that I highly recommend that you learn and master inside out so that it can boost your confidence level and not to mention it will make you more effective in the future. Question 5. Please show me some of your Power BI report that you have developed from scratch. So only very special and privileged candidates that have answered previous questions well will get the opportunity for a show and tell follow-up session. At the end of the first interview, I would give the shortlisted candidates a hint that a demo will be required so that the preparation can be done in advance of the next interview. The truth is during an interview process, I'm not only looking for people who can answer the question well, I'm looking for someone who can walk the talk. Mm. I'm looking for three things. Candidates' ability to inquire about the type of Power BI report that I currently need. Secondly, candidates' ability to offer a solution addressing my current need. And thirdly, candidates' ability to leverage the show and tell session to showcase their expertise in Power BI. For example, data transformation, modeling, writing decks, designing visualization, incorporating various features such as button, bookmark, interaction, etc. So those are my five Power BI interview questions that I use to come through those with strong understanding of Power BI versus those with minimal or mediocre understanding of Power BI. If you are in the middle of preparing for an interview for a new job, good luck and all the best. If you have other tips on good interview questions, please leave some comments and suggestions. And last but not least, thank you. Thank you for watching this video until the very end and see you next time.